Yellow Mayra. What? Don't pull my legs. You are my door. You're not joking. You're not joking, right? Are you serious? What do you want to tell me? Okay, um, why don't you tell me yours first? Okay, I will tell you, but you know, just just tell me first. No, I'll tell you mine. Ladies first. Oh, come on now. You know I hate surprises. Oh. I'll tell mine can wait. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. So we're going to my bedroom. That's where the surprise is. Is that a ploy to get me in your bed? This is not gonna work. Really? Yeah. If I wanted that, I'll just tell you, and you're not gonna tell me no. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, you're not gonna tell me. No. <laughs> but hey, no, I'm serious. Um, but one thing, mm -hmm. you're going to close your eyes, and you're going to promise me that you're not gonna open them. I'm not closing my eyes. You're going to close your eyes. Fine, I'll close my eyes. Better. Up. Put your hands on my shoulders. Okay. And do not open that eyes. Okay. <laughs> do not open that eyes. Okay. Do not. <laughs> do not open that eyes. Are you in? Ready. Close your head. Come. Come on, just trust me. <laughs> Just trust me. Okay. Okay. Yes, here. Okay. Let me help you with this one. Just stay. Stay. Can I have my eyes now? No. Just a minute. What are you? Okay. <laughs> Just stay. You can open your eyes. My love, you, you are a gift to me. Before you came into my life, my life was literally a mess. But you brought order, peace, and so much joy to my life. You brought so much happiness. Right now, I can't even imagine my life without you. Please, make me the happiest man in the world. Marry me. Oh my God. Yes! Yes! Yes, of course I'll marry you. Yes? Yes! Yes, I'll marry you! Oh, Luffy! I love you. I love you more. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, why don't we just take these celebrations somewhere else? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Thank you again. <laughs> why are you smiling? <laughs> I didn't even know I was smiling, like, I'm just overjoyed, literally, yes. I mean, I like the bed and the way the, the, the decorations, it's just, it's just beautiful, thank you. Stop. Thank you again. Honestly, I really appreciate this. Me too. Yes, you, you said you had something you 
You don't need to tell me. Surprise or something. Oh, 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 oh. <sighs> Guess what? No, I'm not with this guessing thing. My visa is out. Come on. I'm serious. And this is the good news. It is. Double, Double congratulations. <laughs> Babe, hmm? do you think um, do you think it's still important for you to travel? Mm -hmm. I don't see why not. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Oh. Yeah. So I, I, I was thinking. Uh, <clears throat> at most, ma at most, six months, we should be married, and uh, I'd love for us to start raising <sighs> our kids oh, early I... together, you and I. I know. I know. <laughs> oh wow. Um. Oh. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Um. <laughs> okay. You know what? May I speak with my dad? I'll talk to daddy first and then see what he thinks and let you know. That's fine. Come here. Mm. Um, I love you. I love you too. Had a brilliant day. Thanks for asking. Good. Monica called me oh, a couple of hours ago. Yeah. She said your visa is out. Yes, she called me too. Ah. Hmm. So you will soon leave me. <laughs> About that, Dad. Um. So something came up. Something came up. Something came up. And what is it? Well, you see, actually, um, Murphy proposed and I said yes. <laughs> I said yes. Murphy. Yes. You accepted already? Yes, I did. I did. I love him. Mm. You've always been talking about this Murphy. Don't you think it's time for me to see him? Absolutely. We, we've had that discussion before, and he's working on it. Um, I'll let him know. Thing is, he really wants to settle down as soon as possible. And by looking at six months, within six months. Six months? Yes, Daddy. For how long have both of you dated? Two years. Now I know that aunt, auntie will be upset, but you know, Murphy is an only child and he would like to settle down as soon as possible and start having kids. And I would like to stay back in Nigeria and, you know, work on my relationship with him, build on it. Dad? It's okay. From your point of view, I think I, I can understand. And in that case, I, I have to talk to Monica. We may have to cancel the visa. Hmm. I know she'll be pretty upset. Not to worry, I'll talk to her. I believe she will understand because um, you never envisage something like this. No, I didn't. You... No. It's okay. Just tell the young man that I would like to see him. That's all. Okay. Thank you, Dad. Thank you so yeah. much. <sighs> you look extraordinarily happy. Yeah, I am happy. <laughs> Come here. Son? Yes, Dad. You said you wanted to discuss something with me. Yes, Dad. I... <sighs> Dad, I... I found the lady I want to marry. 
I have proposed to her and she has accepted. Oh, really? Yes, that. And you did not deem it fit to introduce her to me before proposing to her? You boys of these days like putting the cat before the horse. Dad, is someone you already knew? And who is that, if I may ask? Naomi. And you say I know Naomi very well? What do I know about Naomi? I only know that both of you are friends. I never knew you were into any relationship. Dad, we have been dating for over two years now. Did you tell me that? Well, not exactly. So what do you know about Naomi? Oh, I know that she stays with her father and her mother is late and they're from Ohafia. And she's basically a nice person. So that's all you know about her family background? What else? <laughs> Murphy. Dad. I raised you up well. And I expect you to be smarter than this. Anyway, I would like to meet her and ask her some questions about her background. Or better still, meet with her people before you take any further action. Is that clear? Yes, Dad. I will, um, I'll arrange that. So we have been able to complete 70% of the project. So all I need you to do, go over to the site, inspect it, and ensure that's exactly what you want. And if you have any complaint, just revert through the project manager and I'll fix everything up. Oh, impressive, impressive. Okay, um, by the time I get there, if there's any other thing, I'll surely let you know. All right. How about then? Good work. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right. Let me take my day. All right. You have a happy day. Ah, you too. Okay, bye. Thank you. Oh, well, yes, but I don't mind having you around. No, I'll distract you. I'll, I'll distract you. Are Let me you just sure? go. Yeah, of course, I'm distracting. Of course you are. <laughs> but I can manage. So, mm. I came to tell you that my father mm. wants to see you. Do you know I was about calling you? Oh, really? Yes, because my father says he wants to see your father. Yes. In that case, you can bring him to see my father. Right? Mm -hmm. So I could just, um, okay, let me find out if he's... Ages. Great. Is now your daughter? 
my one and only child, my lovely daughter. <laughs> Sit down. Make yourself comfortable. Problem. We've not said a word since we left Naomi's house. Mufi. Yes, sir. Can I tell you something? Okay. You can't marry that girl. <laughs> Dad, Dad, you must be joking. Uh, why? I am not joking. Her family background is bad. We can't marry from that family. But Dad, what exactly is wrong with her family background? Marry that girl. Period. Dad, uh, Dad, you can't just say I won't marry the girl. What is the reason? <laughs> like I was, it was a shocker. I, I was literally scared <laughs> because I. The way they called their names, it was I was hoping. I said, please let it not be. It's embarrassing. <laughs> All the way from London. She get. Wow, I'm just glad that that is out of the way. Now mm -hmm. we can concentrate. On Talk us. about what they say about the world being a small place. It really is a small place. It is. So tell me, mm -hmm. how many kids do you have? You know, I'm thinking. Yeah, since a football team is. 11, so I was thinking maybe we could have 12 so that we can have someone on the bench. And who will be giving birth to this um, football team? You, of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Dad. Good morning, Mofi. <laughs> morning. Sir. I don't know if my son told you what I told him. Uh, no, I, I don't, I'm not sure. Well, it's obvious he did not. Listen, my son will not marry you. We cannot marry from your family. My family? Uh, with all due respect, sir, what's this talk about my family? You should be asking your father that question. All I know is that Murphy cannot marry you. Uh, but Dad, why- Shut up! up. He just shouted at me and told me to have a nice day. What, what, kind, of, what kind of a man is this? What... Babe! What was that about? Uh, it is something I don't want you to worry about. What are you talking about? He just said something about my family and I, I, I don't, what is that? I understand, but this is one of the many challenges that we'll overcome, okay? Babe, I just, I just want you to understand that the decision of who I will marry is mine. So I don't want you to bother about what he just said. Why won't I bother about what he just said? He's your father. What, what, what does he mean by Babe. my family? What, 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 that, what does that mean? Babe. Just breathe, okay? Just breathe. Good. Everything will be fine. And I promise you, you are the one I want to marry. You are the one I am going to marry. My word is my bond, okay? Come here. Mr. Duncan, 
What a pleasant surprise. It's good to see you again. Please come in. No, please, let's talk here. This is not a reunion visit. I have come to tell you that my son will not marry your daughter. We cannot marry from your family. And I suppose you know why. You relate this to your daughter. For her interest, let her move on with her life and forget about my son. Good day. Um. I'm fine. You sure? Yes, Dad. It's okay. I just want to tell you that um, Dr. Bunna was here earlier today. What did he say? He came to tell me that his son will not marry you. <laughs> he said the same thing to me, Dad. Oh, he has already met with you. Yes, we met at Murphy's office and he was adamant that his son was never going to marry me. Something about our family. Is there something wrong with our family, Dad? There is nothing wrong with our family. So why is he telling me to ask you about our family? Like it's something I need to know. How would I know? I don't know. All I know is that there is nothing wrong with our family. We are just fine. Yes, he was telling me about the Ara... Um the arrival of the trucks before I received an emergency call from the clinic. So I had to leave. So as long the victims were brought to the hospital. So that's why I left. I didn't finish the discussion. Um, let me include you, okay? Why won't you with me? Good evening, Dad. Good evening. Dad, why would you tell my fiancé that? I think the decision of who to marry rests ultimately with me. Will you shut up your mouth and stop talking gibberish? What do you know about marriage? Tell me. Or have you been married before? Dad, I love Naren. And she is the one I am getting married to. You will not bring that woman into this family. And if you dare me, I will disown you. Dad, but why? Why? I love her. And she is the one I want. Well, I have gone to see her father. And I have told him the decision of this family. Well, Dad, that is the decision of this family. My decision is that I love Naomi and I'm going to marry her. Dad, why would you tell me not to marry from a family and not give me a tangible reason as to that? If, if you have any reason, then put it on the table. Let's see. All right. I will tell you. I knew Mr. Duncan while I was in London. I was working in a mental home. That was where we met. He was mentally sick. I took special interest in him because of the uniqueness of his case and also because he was a Nigerian. I can even say that I cured him. He spent about seven years in that mental home. After then, I made inquiries 
and found out that madness runs in their family. His younger sister was not as lucky as he was. She was still in London when I left. So you see, I cannot fold my arms and watch my only son marry from a family that has madness in the history. It can never happen. Now you know why. Many things go happen, eh? many things go come your way. But the one thing with this show, and I love you. Many things go threaten you, many things go leave you run. No. One thing with it there for sure, and I love you. And I love you, love you. Tell me the truth. Why did you ask me to meet you here? Nothing really. Um, I just um, just wanted to spend some time with nature. <laughs> the Murphy that I know. Mm -hmm. Your father is still giving you hassles about us, right? Isn't he? Well, not exactly, but yes. He. Uh, but our. <laughs> he said. That he's going to disown me. But I've made it clear to him that it's you I want. Disown? Like I want to spend the rest As of my life he's, with you. He's going to just tell you to go, go forever. Like you're the one I want to marry. Ah, but that's, that's, that's a harsh word now. Like you are the one I want to spend the rest of my life with. But I already asked my father if there's anything wrong with our family. And he said no. Did he say anything? Hmm? Your father, did he say anything? Well, he said something about madness running in the family. Madness? Yes. My family? How? Dad, tell me the truth now. I want the whole truth, nothing but the truth. Is that a new way to greet your father? Dad, does madness run this family? Who told you that? Murphy. He said that's the reason why his father won't let him marry me. That you were, were mad for seven years in London. Is this true? Yes. You see? The fact that your auntie and I were mentally ill at some point in our life does not confirm our family as a family with madness. I have told you before, we are just fine. You see? You are my lovely daughter. I love you so much. Anyway, be it as it may, I will advise you as a daughter I love so much. Leave everything about Murphy and that marriage. Because if you do, you will never have peace. Do anything out of the way. It will be timed as if you're getting mad. You will be stigmatized all through in that family. You see, I used to think that Dr. Bonna is a noble man. But I now realize that he is not. And I will not want to 
do anything with him. To that end, Dr. Obonna and his entire family will never and ever be my in-law. I will not collect any bride price from them. So, start now to repackage yourself and move on with your life just as he advised. And I'm pretty sure that somebody, somebody who will love you and cherish you will come your way. That is all I have to do. Good afternoon, sir. Afternoon, young man. What can I do for you? Yes, sir. I have been trying to reach Naomi and last night I was... Young man, sir. Naomi has left town. Sir? You heard me. I said Naomi traveled out of town. Okay, so about <clears throat> where did she travel to? When is she coming back? And if I can have her number, uh, I, I would love to speak with her. Young man, listen. I will advise you to go do something with your life. As for my daughter, you can never marry her. Sir, why? Sir, if it's because of my father, I Young promise... Young man... Young man, I have made up my mind that I've taken the decision that you can never marry my daughter. I will not even accept the bride price from your family. Go tell your father to go to a family without a record of madness and pick a girl for you. As for Naomi, she is out of your way. Rubbish. Out of my presence. Dad, you have achieved your heart desire. What are you talking about? Amy was not picking my calls for a while now, so I went to her house to find out why. And I met her father. And he told me that Naomi has left town. And he also said that he would never accept a bright price for me. Is that why you're sad? Come on, son. Brighten up. This is good news as far as I'm concerned. Of course, it is good news for you. And that's why I'm saying congratulations. Murphy. Murphy. Why is happiness so transient in this? It's been over six months now and I haven't heard from or seen Naomi. I don't even have an idea where she is. Oh God, what am I supposed to do now? Who's going to fill this void? In my life I feel totally empty. Oh my love, where are you? Please come back to me, I beg you.
that's a ball for Diogo Jota. It's a lovely roll, it's good save by the goalkeeper. Well, it was a beautiful little drop of the shoulder and piece of skill by the little Portuguese. Salah. Salah, Salah. Salah, Salah, Salah. let's go. Salah. Hey! Which kind of, hey, which kind of promise is this? Huh? Your taste is quite high, I'm just... Hello, welcome, sir. Thank you. Yes. Um, Dad. What? Am I the only one to smell with this? Like a bunt crepes or something? It's... I think... I think you're right. Okay, what is burning? Are you sure it's not? Ah, hey, Jesus! Jesus! Okay, what, what, what is funny? I'll be in my room. What is funny? Hi! So you had something on fire and you didn't know about it? What, what is wrong with you? Do you want to burn down my house? I have got I have got sir. What kind of nonsense excuse is that? You are there watching football and you forgot that you had something on fire and you are telling me that you have kata. I'm very sorry, sir. I'm very sorry. Sorry, eh? So you think sorry always cuts it, eh? Okay. Let me see you eat anything in this house. No, let me see you eat anything except this rice. You eat it tomorrow, you eat it this night. Eat any other thing. Sir? Sir, shift your jaw there. Try me. Eat. Let me catch you eating any other thing in this house. Okay, okay. Leave game, leave game. As me, I for use Liverpool, go go. I for use Monday morning, I replace this rice. Liverpool play the corner to no go go. Sorry, I had to wake you up, Pai. I know you would want to sleep longer, but we have something special we must do today. What's that? Your mom. You have to visit your mom's grave. Mom's grave? Yes. We have to visit her so that we can pray for her like we did last year. Wait, it's been two years already. Yes. It's this 20th of October. Making it two years exactly since she left us. So, um, um, Dad, when are you going to remarry? Why would you ask that? My friend Juvita, her dad remarried last week and she's pretty happy with her life. Uh, she says her stepmom loves and cares for her a lot. Who is Juvita? My classmate. Hmm. And why did her father take another wife? Because her mom died of cancer. 
almost the same week mom died. Dad, I've told you this before. Really? Yes. Um. <clears throat> so, when are you going to remarry? Baby, see, I um, <clears throat> I'm not thinking about that now. But I will remarry at the right time. Okay. So can you get off the bed and go get ready so that we can go and see your mom? What? Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. If you see me those days when I used to dance monkey dancing, huh? you would dance me all your money now. <laughs> huh? And some of my friends used to call me Africa Mac Johnson. And some say I used to dance more than the real Mac Jans itself. Really? You've not seen it. If you like, I will show you some of my magic skills. <laughs> okay, show me. Ah, really? Show me. Whoa! Happy! That's not even a good song. That's not even a song. Okay, what is wrong with you? Sorry, sir. Why are you distracting her from eating? No, sir, I'm even telling her to eat fast so that she can... You are even telling her what? Just to finish so that we can go to where we... Leave this place. I'm telling her to eat. And Jill? How are you, Pandi? Okay. Remember, we need to stop by at your mom's grave. Okay. Alright, hurry up so that we can be able to do that and you go back to school all the time, huh? I don't blame him. She might uh, stay there. Let's see what has happened. My car. Just calm down. Why would you be driving? You're not looking, you're not thinking. What? It's Naomi. Naomi? Yes. Naomi. Oh my <laughs> god. Oh my Naomi. god. Where? Where have you been? 
Um, I've been I've been fine. I've, I haven't been around. I'm so sorry about your car. No, 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 don't worry about the car. I wasn't I'll, thinking. I'll, it was careless. I'm really sorry. Thank don't you. worry about the car. I'll fix it. Oh my God, you <laughs> you look great. Thank you. You too. But, okay, what has been happening to you? Where have you been all this way? Where are you now? I mean, so many questions. I don't even know where to start. Okay, okay. Um. <clears throat> Uh, do you have a minute? Can I borrow a minute? Please? Yes, sure, of, of course. Okay, of course. let's let's go to somewhere and, and try to catch up, right? Eh? Okay, okay. All, all right, let me just uh, move back. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you, I. Yeah took the words right out of my mouth, like, seriously, you? <laughs> <laughs> How have you been? I guess I've been fine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So this, your uncanny way of answering questions, you still do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, are you serious? Mm. Um, well, I guess so, you know, some things never change. Why did you walk away from us? <sighs> you know why I... Because of my father. And my father too. My father swore never to accept right price from me and I couldn't just marry myself off. And you think the best thing was to walk away from us? It was a tough decision. I had no choice but to but to walk away and I found solace with my late aunt in England. Wait. Your aunt in London? She's she's late? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Four years ago and then two years after my father died. Your father too? Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, I am... I... I... I'm so sorry for your loss. My father too is... Um, it's late. No. Yes, he died in a car accident. It's about 10 years now. Wow, I didn't know. Sorry for your loss. It's okay. So when did you finally return to Nigeria? Oof, two years ago. I mean, when I heard that father was ill, I had to return. And then, just like that, he literally died in my arms at the hospital. I'm sorry about that. Yeah. So, um, when I was in London, I, I heard that um, you you got married. Uh, congratulations. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She died two years ago. What? Passed on. I got married um, ten months after you left it. It was so lonely. Mm. The space you left, the vacuum was so so cold without you, so I had to. Wow. Can't imagine. <sighs> so many deaths. Your father, my father, your wife, it's Yeah. And people are being given birth to on a daily basis. <laughs> Balance yeah. is life for you. So, um, you must be married now, yeah? <sighs> Was. Was? Yes. Divorced now. Reason was um, domestic abuse. He... He beats you? Yeah. Mm hmm Coward. True. And I can't change. 
break his neck and shift his jaw. Okay. <laughs> I don't think his son will like that. <laughs> no breaking of anything. <laughs> you have a son? Mm-hmm. A handsome one. Of course, he has to be handsome. The mother. <laughs> <laughs> so, what about you? Do you have any kids? How many? I have a daughter. She is so beautiful and amazing. No way. Yes. Where did she get her beauty from? <laughs> Come on, look at this face. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, I can't wait to meet her. Same here, I can't wait to meet your son. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> this should be interesting. No, of course. <laughs> All right. Um. Cheers. <laughs> In the end, it all makes sense. Time on a time on. One thing is a certain yes, and this I know, this I know. Things go go, things go go. In the end, the love remains through the pain and through the sorrow. True love never changes. Love will not forever. Where is my angel? Uh, she's inside. Okay. Uh, uh, come, 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 give daddy a big hug. <laughs> Good How are you? I'm fine. How was your day? Fine. Okay. So how was work? The work was beautiful. Okay, so what did you get me? Can we talk about um, that later? Can't you see that your daddy is happy? Okay, why are you happy? Good question. Come here. Is it? Okay, so... So, your daddy met an old friend today. <laughs> an old friend? Mm-hmm. Male or female? Female. Okay. When can I meet her? Actually, that won't be a problem. I can arrange that. Okay. Uh -huh. Since that's out of the way, what did you get me? Actually, I didn't get you anything. You didn't get me anything. Okay. Uh. Go back to wherever you're coming from and get me some. <laughs> <laughs> well, shall I just get you something? Yes. Okay, but you might have a gist for you. Okay. okay. Yeah, yes, Oga. I want you to prepare a special meal today. I'm expecting a special guest today. As a matter of fact, guests with an S. Right, so I want us to, I think, no, not I think, we should do fried rice and chicken. Right? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Those guests of yours, mm -hmm. do they like too much pepper in their food? <clears throat> My mind just whispered to me that you were going to ask a stupid question. And you've just fulfilled that prophecy. Sorry, sir. No, let me taste the food and, 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 and taste any nonsense of, of anything. If you like, put a trailer load of pepper there and, and, and that's when you know that I have something to say to you. Hi! Hi! Pepe again. No, I don't want to touch that pepper again. As the one I touched yesterday. I, I tell you, I'm still having the pen, pen or pens, pencil, a pens. Even now, he's using the pen myself. I don't. Oh God. In the end, it all makes sense. Time on a time on. One thing is a certain yes, and this I know, this I know. Things go go, things go go. In the end, the love remains through the pain and through the sorrow. True love never change. Uncle K. Yes, my dear. Why are you wearing an F1? Hey, <laughs> I'm preparing a special meal for special guests. And I have to dress so special so that my food will taste so special. That's why I dress so sexy. <laughs> Aye. 
okay, but what does the way a chef dress has to do with what he or she cooks? What do you know? Huh? Do you know how many years cooking experience I have? Ask your dad and my uncle now. I've been cooking for him, even in the village. That's why he have to bring me down here. And if he's coming back home by 4.30 or 6.00, he'll call me. Okay, okay, prepare something. And I will arrange everything, bam. He will eat. <laughs> Just relax and watch me. Okay. Well, what if I taste your food and it doesn't taste special? Then stop eating my food now. If I stop eating your food, who will cook for me? You don't know how to cook. Uh, you can go out and buy shawarma or pizza, so as you can, you can eat. Go, go and watch movie. Let me do what I don't want to do mistake today. I'm a professional. Go. No, don't enter this kitchen. Oh, don't want to make me do mistake. No, let me. Mm -hmm. Show you this one, don't laugh. Okay, nice. Okay, look, like, someone is looking up. <laughs> so. Oh, <laughs> hi, hi. <Come> on. <laughs> thank you. You're so gorgeous. Thank you. Hey. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, my boy. How are you? <laughs> Good afternoon, young, nice. fine young Pretty. man. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> So, Angel, yeah. this is Kinsley, the one I told you about. Okay, hi. Mm -hmm. She's really pretty. Hi. Come here, give me a hug. <laughs> Here's our cook. He says he's the world's best cook. Mm. Huh. Wow. Huh. I can't wait to test this food. Me and too. I pray you don't get disappointed after the first <laughs> Can we go? Can we go to the dining, please? Yes, absolutely. Thank you. What is it? It's been long since I did this. Did what now? This. Ha. <laughs> ha. <laughs> Please. Make me the happiest man and say yes to me. Is this even right? I don't know. I don't know. The more I try to forget you, the more my heart keeps longing for you. And I know you still have feelings for me. I still love you. I mean, I never stop loving you. Then say yes to me. Say yes to me and make me the happiest man. Even if it is not for me, let's do it for our kids. Let me be a father to Kinsley. And you a mother my daughter has been craving for. Let's do it for our kids. Let's make us a one big happy family. <laughs> that would be lovely, right? Yes. Okay. I will marry you. You're going to 
ripped I'm, my dress. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. I... Hmm. Uh, I, I, I don't have a ring. I, I didn't plan all this. I... That's fine. Why? Why? Because um, we have um, <laughs> this. This, this is the... The ring you gave to me 15 years ago, I still have it. Still have it in your possession? Technically, it's still yours. Yes, I do. This is one that I have to. No, 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 of course. Love never dies. Love but I told you, Miss Dash, mm. you know, like, mm. Carry now. <laughs> okay, okay, fine, it's your turn. <laughs> okay, we have to go. You can continue later. Oh, just give them some time. Oh, we have to go. <laughs> okay. <sighs> All right, Kingsley, we have to go. Too long, no, 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 no. Mm, it's already nightfall. We have to go. <laughs> but, Auntie Naomi, why don't he stay a little longer? And you and my dad can drop him off at your place tomorrow. Um, I, I do know about that, but. What is that? No, no nothing. Just uh, my landlord um, just remind me of rent. Kingsley, shall we? Is he due already? Um, to you next week, but nothing to worry about. Let's go. Now. Hey. What? Something just um flashed through my mind right now. Okay. So I was thinking, mm -hmm. since we're going to get married, of course. <laughs> okay. Don't you think... Renewing your rent for the next one year would be like a waste of money. Why don't you just move in with us? I, 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 if even if not for us, so look at them. They're just like siblings. They want to be together. We want to be <laughs> together. <laughs> but at least let's make it happen for them. You. Can I just think about it? Can, can I at least think about it? Okay, fine. Take your time. Okay, all right. Thank Are you done? <laughs> <laughs> no, stop kidding. Okay, okay Kingsley, we have to go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. We continue this again, I promise. Goodbye. Enjoy. Bye. not believe this like you literally beat me to it i was going to call you are you serious yes i hope there's no problem i was going to tell you that um well i have thought about it thoroughly and i have decided that um we will move in with you i and my son 
Are you serious? <laughs> You're serious? <laughs> no, that's good. I know, 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 I know. Yes, I'm, I'm happy to. Thank you. All right then. <laughs> I want you to go get some boys. Hmm? Yes, sir. Let them bring in the properties outside, okay? Okay, sir. All right. Uh, sir, you know they will not do it for free. Of course, I know they will not do it for free. Okay. How much are you going to pay them each? As in, how much? Something must be wrong with you. No, I'll pay them one, one million naira each. My friend, go and get those boys to, to bring in the properties. Oh, sorry, sir. This one get luggage. Mm -mm. Mm. Why does he want to know how much? He's very lovely. Uh, he likes asking stupid questions. No, don't, don't, don't just pay him any attention. Uh, he's, he's up here exactly. <laughs> Kentley, don't you know that chicken is better than beef? You have to get used to eating chicken because everyone in this house likes chicken. I mean, I like it and my dad loves it. No, I don't like chicken. I don't like the look of it. I don't like the taste. I don't like the smell. I don't eat chicken. You can ask my mom. Then I guess you will eat the food with or without chicken. No way, that's not possible. I won't enjoy the meal. Look, it's true. Ever since he was little, he never liked chicken for the life of me. Well, Auntie, chicken is no poison. I know. It's actually better than beef, you know? I'm surprised to see someone who doesn't like chicken. Hmm. I'm surprised too to see someone who doesn't like beef. I'm not saying I don't like beef, I'm just saying that chicken is better than beef. Say so. My teacher. Then that your teacher needs to go back to school. What's that supposed to mean? Chicken is way better than beef. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me share some juice. Some more juice? Yeah. Let me share you something. Okay, what's that? Just wait. Kinsley, what's the meaning of this? This cartoon network, or oh, don't you know what animation is? I enjoy it. That's what I'm talking about. Of course I know what animation is. I mean, why did you change the movie program I was watching? Let, no, let's enjoy the cartoon. <laughs> Oh, okay, when I'm done with my movie program, you can put your cartoon or whatever you want to put, okay? No, I don't like that movie. There is no action in it, so let's watch a cartoon. <laughs> Why did you drag it? Why did you change it? I was put it back. here first, okay? I hate cartoons and I don't watch it. Do you understand? I want to watch cartoon. Put it back. I well, what, is, what is going on? What is going on here? What is the matter? Dad, I was here watching my favorite movie program. Then Kinsley came from all, only God knows and changed it to a cartoon channel. And he knows I hate cartoons. Mom, I don't want my cartoon. So what was that about? Dad, I was watching a program on the television and he just changed it. He just changed the channel. What do you have me do? You correct him. When he does something wrong, you correct him. 
But that's what I did. No, you were having an argument with him. That's not correction. Both of you are meant to be in peace in this house. So I do not want that any form of argument ever in this house. Okay? <coughs> okay. <coughs> but dad, tell him to show me some respect. I'm two years older than him for God's sake. Respect? You earn it, you don't demand for it. So when he is doing something wrong, you correct him respectfully. That way he will reciprocate it to you, not by getting into any form of altercation with him. Do you understand? Okay. Kingsley, I don't like this at all. I don't like this at all. I didn't raise you to act this way. I don't like it at all. Mom, you know I love watching my cartoon. And I don't like anyone contesting the TV in which control me. Oga, this is not your former house where you think you have monopoly of the remote control. The fact that you met her already watching TV in the sitting room, you should have let her be instead of dragging it with her. Mom, no, but hey, listen, 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 listen. I won't tolerate this attitude. I won't tolerate it at all. Not in this house. Do you understand me? Yes. Not in this place. Kinsley, Susan, what's this glass of water doing here? Yeah, an empty glass. Okay, it's an empty glass. Then go return it. I'll do that when I'm done with the movie. When you're done with the movie. You heard me right. Go do it now. If Dad gets back and see this here, he's going to be really mad. Then take it to the kitchen yourself. What's that supposed to mean? You said your dad will be mad if he comes and see. Then take it to the kitchen yourself. Oh my goodness, Kinsley, you why are you this damn stubborn? You're too stubborn for my liking. You are too bossy for my liking. I would like to boss now. I'm too bossy for your liking, right? Go and return this glass cup now. You can waste your saliva if you like. Hey, I will show you. Go and get that glass cup. I won't do your work. Hey, what's the problem, please? Uh, I heard uh, bossing, uh, stubbornness, uh, stubborn. Please, who is bossy and who is stubborn? She's bossy. He's stubborn. Wait. Now, nah, let's do it a bit, right? Then I'll be the moderator. Mwa. Look, Uncle K, okay, please do not reduce this to one of your dry jokes, okay? Which dry jokes? You see, you see why I said she's bossy? You hear what she said now? Okay, just shut up. I shut up. And I won't. I'm your senior. You need to show me some respect, for God's sake. You earn respect. You don't force respect. Nice shot. Oh, you don't nice force shot, respect. Bro. I deserve to be respected from you, okay? Good for your back, Master Master. Exactly. What is, go what is going on? What is going on? That's what you mean. Sir, welcome, sir. What, what, what is going on? What's going on? Why are you guys yelling? Do you know where we heard your voices from? What is going on? Dad Kinsley is just too stubborn. Mom, she's just too bossy and I hate it. Look, Dad, I don't like this. He's too stubborn. He doesn't respect me at all. Not even a bit. Enough. Enough. What exactly happened? I came out to watch some TV and I saw this glass cup here and I told him to take it from where he got it from and it was like he's not going to do what he was done watching the movie. Can you imagine that? Ma, she just like buzzing around dreaming around and I hate it. You're stubborn. The boss is... Hey, listen, listen, mm. listen, Susan, you can tell him what you want to say without calling him names. It's unnecessary. Babe, no, no. She didn't call him names. She's just stating the obvious. Exactly. Babe, yeah. is that really necessary? No. no she, you, or she already did. She said he's stubborn, he's stubborn, he's stubborn. That's calling him names. No, oh, that's not what she said. She was, she was simply addressing his, his... Babe, this is not helping. She's calling him names. Being stubborn is a state. It, it's not a name. He didn't... He didn't say he was... It's okay. I don't step on him like that. Uh, mm -mm. You're stubborn. See? 
He's still boy. No. See? No, we were no, talking. No. He started talking. Talk we were talking. Then he okay? started talking. It's okay. Susan. It's okay, Angel. It's okay. Honestly, you know what? Just, just, just uh, no, okay? fine. Just no, let's no. Let's no. Just no. Just no. Just Angel? Um, Angel. Wait, please. Sorry. Enlighten me. What was that thing you were saying about um, stating the obvious? I didn't quite understand. Okay, I, I was saying your son is stubborn and you need to talk to him. That's all. Simple as that. Where is this coming from? Or where is this going? I don't, I don't get it. I am saying mm -hmm. that Kingsley is stubborn. He's a stubborn lad. And I will not tolerate that in my house because I will have to go hard on him. That's what I'm saying. You go hard on my child? Yes. Wait, first of all, first of all, I don't appreciate you calling him that unprintable name. And secondly, don't you think that the bone of contention here is Susan's bossy nature? <laughs> Susan is not the bossy type. Oh, 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 you are quick to jump on it and defend her that she's not bossy. No, I'm not defending her. Of course, she's not the bossy type. Then my son is not stubborn. He's not the stubborn type. It's simple. I don't want it. <laughs> it's crazy hot in here. If you get cold, then go put on a sweater. I want with Damien. I said I don't like it. Turn it off. I don't like it. I'll get cold. Susan, are you serious? Did you not hear him? He said he'll get cold. Oh, so put it off. But Auntie, here is crazy hot. And I don't care. Do you want to murder him for me? Can you turn it off and leave it off? Well, and No buts. You better still just leave. Leave, did you? Yeah. Good evening, how are you? Oh, so I'm tired. How are you oh, doing? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> how are you? I'm fine. How's fine. Your day? fine. How was work? Same old, same old. Do you want to sit? No, no. Let me just go in and drop this. Okay. Wait, wait a minute. What? What exactly is going on here? Why are you looking so delicious? <laughs> I don't understand. Don't I always look? This delicious? Well, you always look delicious, but this here, there's some little extra <laughs> making you extra delicious. What's the occasion? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come and eat me now. <laughs> you know I will. But, <laughs> but I need to go in and drop my bag first. Yes, you should. <laughs> but let me change first. Where, where, where is my angel? I don't know where she is. She's probably in her room. Okay. Let me just stop freshening okay. up. Ah, darling, I'm famished. Telling that thing what is making you cry. 
It was crazy hot, so I turned on the AC. Then Kintley said he would catch a cold, and I told him to go put on the sweater. Then she just yelled at me and said, do, do I want to kill her son for her? That I'm a wicked person, that I want to murder her son. Well, I just wanted to turn on the AC. Did she yell? She yelled at me. It's, it's okay, baby. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Stop crying. <laughs> It's okay. You know you're not a wicked person, right? You're a very kind person. You are an angel. You take care of everyone around you. You're not wicked. Okay? It's okay. Stop crying. Huh? Stop crying. Alright? Clean your tears. Did you eat your chocolate? No. Uh, you should eat your chocolate. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I cleaned the mood and for this. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, what is the meaning of that thing you told my daughter? Um, what did she say I said to her? Did you or did you not tell her that she wanted to kill your son simply because she turned on the AC? Babe, you should have seen the way he was shaking and shivering from the cold. What do you mean the way he was shivering? Did she not tell him to go and put on the sweater? Why would you tell her that, such kind of, that he wants to kill him simply? I don't understand. Do you know how damaging that is? Well, I had to. I had to. Why did she do that? I had to. You're standing there arguing with me. What's that supposed to mean? How can you tell a little girl such kind of nonsense? You know how emotionally damaging that is. This is not fair. This is not fair. No, no, don't, don't, don't say that. Don't stand there and argue with me. Why, why, why would you say that? Why are you eating there? I don't want to stay close to Susan. My friend, will you, will, you, will you pick that thing and come over here? What, what's that supposed to mean? Murphy, Murphy, look, you don't have to be that harsh. Relax, it's just a kid. What do you mean don't be harsh? Didn't you... I, I don't like naughty kids. <sighs> naughty, because he's eating in the sitting room. How about that's too harsh? Didn't you hear the reason he gave? How is he a bad kid now because he's eating his breakfast in the sitting room? How? The way you throw things out of proportion is, is baffling. You see this thing you're doing? Throwing your weight behind his bad character? Bad character. You are going to regret it when the chips are down. I'm just saying, there's nothing wrong with him eating in the sitting room. It's just food eating in the sitting room. That's all. What do you mean? What do you mean? What are you saying? The way you just make a mountain out of a molehill. It's incredible. Wow. I am making a mountain out of a molehill. Yes! It's just eating. For trying to correct a child. Correct him. There's nothing wrong with him eating in the sitting room. It's that simple. Angel, I'll see you when I come back. Take your breakfast to the dining now. Yes, sir.
hope you're happy because you're the cause of all this. Are you satisfied? Don't, 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 Auntie scolded me for what happened this morning. She scolded you? Mm hmm She said it's my fault that you scolded Kinsley. She called me many unprintable names. Really? Yes. Okay, don't worry. I will talk to her as soon as I get back, okay? Okay. I want you to know that you did not cause anything, okay? But don't worry, once I come back, I will talk to her. And remember, you did not cause anything. And Daddy loves you so much. I love you too. Good. I will see you when I get back, okay? Okay, bye. on the wall. Don't you see any other place to write? What, what are you doing? What is wrong with you? Why would you be write, Why would you be writing on the wall? Uh -uh. Why must you deface the painting? Do you think you're still a child? Why, why, why would you be writing on the wall? What's going on? Uh -uh. Why are you crying? Just look at it. Eh? Why, why, why must he deface the hey, painting? Is that why you are yelling? That's not right now. Is that why you're yelling and screaming at him? Come on, he's just a child. Is that why you're yelling at him? Do you want to kill him because of this? Is that what you have to say? Yes, I could just easily clean this cleanse up in two seconds. You don't have to yell. It's psychologically damaging. Wow. That's, that's all you have to say about this. If you don't have anything to say, just keep quiet. I should keep quiet? Yes, keep quiet. I should keep quiet that I, the mother, should watch you shout at my own son like that? That, that a child was writing on the wall and all you have to say is that you can clean it? Is that how you've been bringing him up? Is that how you've been bringing up a, your own daughter? See, monsieur, because of this small thing, you're you are screaming at him. That's unfair. Yeah. Yes. It's unfair. Ah. Wow. I'm actually ashamed of you. I beg your pardon. Yes, and you call yourself a mother. And this is the kind of thing you are supporting. Let him write on the wall again. <laughs> no, let me see him write on the wall again. Or else. If I catch him up, as long as he stays in this house, whenever he does anything like this or misbehave, he gets it from me. He gets what? No, what is this? Is it that you don't understand how to train a child or you just don't care? I don't, what, 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 what has gotten into her? When did she become this undisciplined and careless? Why is she defending him? The, bo the boy is stubborn. The boy is stubborn and he must be trained. He must be trained. The, the, boy, the boy is behaving, is behaving foolish. And he's, he's not a kid anymore. He has to be put to the right path before, before it is too late. And she just jumped behind. And he, she's defending him. As if I hate the boy. I do not hate the boy. I do not hate the boy. But he, he must learn how to be a good boy. I cannot tolerate indiscipline and, and, and foolishness in my house. I don't care what she feels. As long as that boy is in this house, he must be trained. I will not tolerate any stubborn child under my roof. I do not hate the boy. I don't. I just want him to learn how to live like a human being. Well, how can you live of all the places in the house to write? It is the wall. White!
You to Kingsley, please. Please don't write on the wall again. Come on. But mommy hates me. They both hate me. Mom, let's move back to our former home. I can't take his pranking anymore. What? He spanked you? Mom, he spanked me twice. Mom, let's move away from me. I don't like you anymore. You really want us to live, right? Yes, Mom, I hate you. I hate this place. I don't stay here anymore. Mom, let's move out. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mom. Oh, good night. Um, uh, no. So it has gotten to the level where you now passed without greeting me. Good morning. Yesterday you called my daughter on printable names just because you do not want to caution your son for bad behavior. And now you're giving me attitude? I will not take that in my house. <laughs> Mr. Murphy, first of all, I wasn't living under the bridge when you met me. I had a home that you made me give up. You can go back to that if that is exactly what you desire. <laughs> Ouch. Hmm. You know, I regret coming back into your life. I did not put a gun to your head when you make that decision, so deal with it. FYI, I'm going job hunting, and by the time I get a job, I'll be leaving this Disaster, you call it home. Wow. <laughs> My home a disaster. Mm. You know, I should have known that you... You don't want all the troubles. Nah, you, you do not. Perhaps this is exactly what my dad saw, that he warned me never to get married to you. Yeah. Mm. You know, I'm so stupid. I regret listening to your silly and cheap lies. That's what they are. Cheap lies? Yes. So you finish enjoying my home and everything I have to offer, it's now in a cheap lie. You better watch your tongue, woman. Or else what? You're going to beat me. Or else what? It's only a weak man that lays his hand on a woman. <laughs> Sorry, yo, Mr. Strong. <laughs> Liar. Everything you told me was a lie! Why are you staring like you've seen a ghost? What is it? No, sir. Just, sir, I'm just wondering why you people are eating separate stars. Will you get out of this place? Sir. Wonder. Do you want more rice? Do you want more beef? Come in. <clears throat> Come in. Susie, what is it? Dad, we need to talk. Okay. What do you want us to talk about? It's about Auntie and Kingsley. Okay. So what about them? Ever since they moved into this house, it's been from one problem to another. 
Don't you think it's a mistake bringing them in? I think you need to kick them out. It's high time. Sometimes there are better ways of dealing with issues than kicking people out. It's okay. <sighs> there are challenges, right? Sometimes when challenges come, you face them. Okay. go out today? No. Okay. So how is work? Work is um it's okay. Okay. Any stories? Mm, I'll tell you about that later. Okay. <laughs> so what'd you get me? Was I always get you something? <laughs> okay, okay, fine. Of course I got you something. I got you your special pizza. Yes! <laughs> Here is it. Thank you, Dad. You're welcome. So, did you get any for me? No, Kingsley. You're not getting any pizza for me until you're a good boy. What is that supposed to mean? Huh? What is that supposed to mean? I'm not even ready for this now. I'm not about that story. <laughs> happened <laughs> okay tell me what happened I promise I'll do something about it you're speaking like you don't know what your dad did my dad uh, what did he do did he beat you or something oh okay. He didn't get your pizza. Is that why you're sad? Oh, come on, you, you can share mine if you want. Okay, um, why don't you follow me to my room? Let's share it. Come on. Let's go. Okay, you can share, just put it, okay? Yeah, yeah, true love never dies. In the end, it all makes sense. Time on a time on. One thing is a certain yes, and this I know, this I know. This go go, this go go. In the end, the love remains through the pain and through the sorrow. True love will never change. Love will not forever. Many things go happen, many things go come your way. It's nice, right? Yeah, it's fantastic. I love pizza, but mom hardly buys it for me. Oh, 
My dad buys it for me every week. Wow! Are you serious? Yeah. I can't wait for them to get married. I promise you mean? Yeah. Do you think they're still going to get married? Yes. Why do you ask? Because they're not in good terms anymore. And they no longer talk to each other. Why haven't you noticed it? I have. Don't worry, I'll talk to my dad to make peace with your mom. You should do the same too. Okay. So, enjoy your pizza. True love never dies. Okay. Come and collect this. Are you serious right now? Huh? Are you serious right now? So you mean you can be this childish and selfish? Please. I'm not here for any form of argument. I'm just here for top of the hour news. I don't care if you're here for bottom of the hour news. So this is what you are. This is who you really are. Huh. Thank God I haven't walked down the aisle with you. You know, I'm the one who is just wondering what exactly has happened to you. How have you become this bitter? Oh, please cut that out. There are two kids in this house, yet you chose to buy gifts for just one. You claim to love me, yet you treat my soul like an outcast. You know what? Let me do the TV in my room. I'm not ready for all of this. You're not ready for what? You're not joking. You've got to be joking. Are you serious right now? Look, we're leaving this house tomorrow. Why? What do you mean, why? Do you like the way we are being handled, huh? Yes, I like it here. You like what? Were you not the one complaining about how bossy Susan was? Has her dad been nice to you? No, that's the answer. Oh, please, I want to sleep. Please, what? I'm finished sleeping. Mom, please take your phone. Good night. Ah. Kingsley. Good night, Mom. Why? Oh, Kingsley and his mother are driving me nuts. And it's all because of the boy. The boy is the cause of all the problems. I'm even beginning to regret why I allowed him into my home. Are you sure Kingsley is the problem? Of course he is. He is the problem. And I am going to ask his mother to send him out of this house. I do not want him in my house again. The boy is a bunch of trouble. But dad, you can't send Kinsley away. He's my friend. He's not your friend. He's a naughty boy. You can't be friends with naughty children. And I don't want anybody influencing you badly. And his mother will not accept that his son is naughty and stubborn. So that we can help train him. I'm going to send him away. Let him leave my house. What about his mom? Are you going to send her out to? No. Just the son. I'll ask the mother to 
send the boy to live with his father, real, any of his relative or something. Let him just leave my house, that's all. <laughs> but, but that Kinsley is not that bad. Besides, he's... Angel? Stop. Have I refused you anything before? This one is bad for you. Go to your room now. Good night. Good night, Good. Angel. Good night. I have something I must tell you and you have to abide by it for our peaceful coexistence in this house. Your son I want him out of my house. So, <clears throat> let me understand this. You want me to leave your house? I didn't say that. What did you say? I said, your son. Take him elsewhere. I do not want to see him when I, when I come back from work. Oh. So, you want me to take my son? Elsewhere, while I have the privilege of living in your house. Exactly. You see, my daughter's happiness is a priority to me. Wow. And your son has done nothing but make her unhappy since he moved here. Yes. So please, just take him somewhere. Take him to his father or any of your relatives. Really? Yes. I don't believe you. I don't want to see him when I come back from work. You insist of not leaving. I've tried my best. I've tried to get her into it, but she says it. She even said I'm the reason why your dad sent us back in. What are you doing? I'm sorry. Don't waste my time. Leave. Don't waste my time. Leave. Auntie Naomi. In the end, it all makes sense. Time on a time on. One thing is a certain yes, and this I know, this I know. This go go, this go go. In the end, the love remains through the pain and through the sorrow. True love never change. Love not forever. True love never dies. Love not die. Love never dies. Okay. It's okay. Where is my angel? Oga, which angel? When I when I talk about angel in this house, don't you know who I'm talking about? Oga, I never see any angel in this house before. I've not seen any angel. Are you silly or something? Where is my daughter? 
Oh God, Susan. <laughs> uh, she's in her bedroom. But oh God, Susan, is she an angel? One more silly question, and you spend your night outside. I'm sorry, sir. What is this food doing here? Sir, that's Susan's food though. She refused to come down since morning. Why? I don't know, sir. Where is my fiance? Ah, uh, you mean auntie? Yes. So I've not seen her. I went to market. Since I'm back, I've not seen her again. Maybe she have left. I don't know. My angel. Good evening, Dad. Good evening. What is it? What is the problem? No, nothing. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. You don't look fine. What is the problem? Nothing, I'm fine. Why didn't you eat your food? Are you not hungry? Yes, I'm, I'm not hungry. Baby, what exactly is the problem? Where is your auntie? I don't know. When did she leave the house? I don't know. Baby, what exactly is the problem? Okay. Why is she not picking my call? Who is calling you? It's Murphy. So what's calling you for? I don't care, doesn't matter. But Nomi, how on earth could you quit your job just because of a man? All of a sudden, now you are homeless. Because I didn't think things were going to actually pan out like this. Oh, really? I thought he loved me, yes. I really did trust him, but apparently. You dare not trust any man. No man is trustworthy anymore. I was just a fool. And beside, you are not a kid. To be told. There's no point in me crying over spilled milk. What is done is done. My focal point now is what's the way forward? That's okay. So, how long do you intend staying here? Two weeks max. And ASAP, um, I'll be scouting for our own accommodation. You don't have to worry. Okay. Very well then. That's my friend. Two weeks of grace. Thank you. But after the two weeks, any extra expense here, you're gonna pay. Jeanette? Yes, darling. Ha. Huh. My love, this is Lagos. 
we're all here to hustle. And beside, you have a car, or don't you want me to have mine? Stop grabbing my ring this morning. No, that's okay. Actually, I'm on my way. Mm -hmm. So, when exactly do you want me to come to the office and sign the documents? 12 noon. Okay, that's fine. That's but I, I'm uh, yes, yes. Okay, all right, I'll call you. Thank you. Baby, what is the problem? Nothing, I'm fine. You're not fine? Okay, what exactly is the problem? The more you say what's the problem, the more angry and annoyed I become with you. You're acting like you don't know what you did. Okay, but... I don't know what I have done. What exactly did I do? Oh, you don't know. No. You sent Kinsley and his mom out. Dad, I, I asked you not to. I pleaded with you. I, I... Dad, don't. I can't, I can't talk to you. Be Just leave me. Susan? Susan, don't walk. Of the call. Why is she not picking my call? And she's not even responding to any of my messages. Mom, why don't you want to pick his calls again? Kingsley, we agree that we're not going to discuss Murphy anymore. He's not worth our time. But Mom, he didn't throw you out of the house. You only asked me to leave. Yeah, but one plus one is two. There's no way he's going to throw you out of his house and I'm going to stay back. So he indirectly threw us both out of his house. But mom, maybe he wants to call you back. Kingsley, stop dreaming and let me be. Mom, I, I really miss Susan. I want to go and see Susan. Which Susan? Same Susan who you complain about from day one to day we left their house? Same Susan whose father threw us out of the house? You're not serious. But mom, I still like her. She's still my friend. I want her to be my sister. Mom, you're both living and I'll be in this house all alone. Mom, I'm sick and tired of this loneliness. I want siblings. Sick and tired of this lon... Is it me you're talking to like that? Don't I try? You won't let me go out. You want me to stay. Look. <coughs> Janet will soon be back, okay? What's my business with Auntie Janet? I don't even like her. <laughs> well, deal with it. I have to go out. I have to go out for an apartment. You know, she gave us only two weeks to stay here. So we don't have a choice. And I will go and visit Susan. You go and what? Hey, look at this. Just knock down a, a little boy now. Uh, I, how is he? How is he? I don't know. I mean, 
I'm waiting for the doctor's report. Okay, just just calm down. Um, have you been able to find out who his people are? I don't know. The last time I brought brought him here, he's looking so 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 like he's not even moving. <sighs> did, did you find out maybe where? Uh, I'm just uh, doctor. Doctor, how is he? He's been stabilized now. Thank God he sustained no internal injury, just minor bruises here and there. Okay. Okay, doctor. Can we? Uh, has he started talking? Are you the father? No, no, I'm not. I'm not the father, but I'm the person that unfortunately knocked him down. So maybe we go inside and find out how to contact his people. If that's possible. If you want to see him, okay, please. Let's let us go see him. Please come in. Oh, poor oh, boy. Look at him. How are you doing? Oh, I know him. You know, you know him? Is some of you, you know him? Yes. Oh, that's very good. This, this is Kingsley, Naomi's son. You mean same Naomi? Yes. Oh, thank God. Okay, it's, it's good you know him. Very, very good. So let's start from there. I think... Kingsley, how are you? My head is hurting me. Oh. Sorry. Sorry, son. Sorry, sorry. I've already given you some medication to take care of that, okay? Put the hand up, put the hand up. You'll be fine. So, since you know him, why not put a call? Uh, let me just uh, put a call through to her mother and let her know where her son is. Muffy, do that immediately, please. Call her. Call her. Okay. Um, excuse me, gentlemen. I need to attend to our location. It's fine. Thank He's in his safe hands now. Doctor, thank you very much. You'll be fine, okay? Um, let me check if I still have a number in my phone. Okay. Okay, thank God it's ringing. What the ring with these calls? Send me the address, I'll be there, I'll be there. I'm driving, just send the address to me. I'll be there, thank you. What? How? It was actually my car that knocked him down. I asked not to leave the house. I asked not to leave the house. I was going to visit Susan. Susan? For what? Um, who is Susan? Oh God. That's my daughter. Why are you this stubborn? I, I, I hope it's fine. I, I hope it doesn't have any internal injury. Uh, he's not the doctor actually, but the doctor said that 
there's no internal injuries. He's very fine. No internal injuries. Just calm down. He's fine. Okay, what is it now? Just calm down. He's fine. What? What is it, Muffy? Susan? What happened to her? Muffy, what is it? What? Muffy, what is it? What is it? Mommy, what happened to Susan? I don't know. I don't know. You have to learn to obey your parents. Sir, she has been vomiting since so even her body is very, very hot. Jesus, what, what is she? My hand just opened up for me. Sorry. 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 Sir, I should move the bag. Good day, nurse. Oh, good day, sir. Please, what exactly is wrong with her? Um, food poisoning. Food poisoning? Yes. Probably she ate what she's not supposed to eat. All right, thank you. Oh, uh, thank you, sir. Getting better, right? Yes. Okay. So your friend and sister, Susan, she asked me to greet you. She's taking drip now. She will come and see you herself when she's done, okay? Where is she? She's just two rooms away from you. What's wrong with her? Food poisoning. Food poisoning? Yes, um, okay said he was sleeping and she went and made noodles for herself and after a while she started complaining of stomach ache. Sorry, wow. Mom, I want to go see her. No, 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 you need to rest. You need to rest, please. Oh, please. Do you want to Baby. Look who is here. Hi. Oh, hi. I was there, you see. Yes, and I was told you got knocked down by a car. Yeah, here you are. Yes. Maybe next time I'll come visit you, and trust me, I won't get knocked down. Maybe there will be no need for that, because Kingsley will be coming home with us. Uh-uh, not that easy. Thanks, but no thanks. We have a home now. All right, you've seen her. Can we go? Baby, please. Come on, babe. Don't let us throw away things that we've built together just because of... <sighs> you already did, Murphy. I'm, I'm sorry. Okay, I... How can you say you love me and you detest my son? Baby, babe, I love you wholeheartedly. Like, I've always... Babe, 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 I'm sorry. I'm genuinely sorry. I I know I handled things poorly, but we learn. Mom, please, let's go back. Mom, please, I want him to be my dad. Can we go now? Auntie, please. I want you to be my mom. Please forgive us. Please <laughs> forgive me. You hurt my feelings. I know. And I've learned. 
I've learned to handle things better now. Please forgive me. Okay. But you know I love you. <laughs> like I always love you. Stop. Stop it. I seriously love you. Stop it. Okay. That's not me. All right. Mm. I was out of line too, and I am sorry. I just. Eat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true love never dies. In the end, it all makes sense. Time on a time on. One thing is a certain yes, and this I know, this I know. This go go, this go go. In the end, the love remains through the pain and through the sorrow. True love will never change. Love will not forever. Yeah. True love never dies. Love will know the die. Yeah. True love never dies. Love will not forever. Yeah. True love never dies. Love will know the die. Yeah. True love never dies. Yeah, yeah. Many things go happen, eh? many things go come your way. But the one thing with this show, and I love you. Many things go threaten you, many things go leave you run. No. One thing with it there for sure, and I love you. And I love you, love you. Love you not forever. Forever, yeah. love never yeah. dies. Love will know the time.